from the basement of La Penta, it's WICR. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Vault. I'm your host with the most, Jersey Joe Archino, and it is kind of fitting that I find myself here this morning because on the Sports Vault, have been doing the show since freshman year here, and it, it is my senior year here at Iona, and freshman year, one of the first shows that I ever did, I'll never forget the show, one of the big segments was the Royals, how close they were. You know, back back in freshman year, really 2012, 2013, really, you looked at the Royals, I did, and I really thought this was a team right on the cusp. You know, they had so much young talent. They were infusing so much young talent. They weren't there yet, but you could see that they were building something. The momentum was on their side. You look at the Alex, uh, the, the Hosmores and the Gordons, all these nice young arms that they had. There was a lot of good things on their side, and I just felt in a couple seasons they were going to be right on the cusp. And obviously last night they reached that cusp and they held the World Series trophy in their hand. It's been a long time waiting since 1985. They were there last year, they lose it, and then they get it back last night. I think it's one of those things where it's kind of funny how freshman year, you know, that was one of the the headliners on one of the first shows. Senior year at Iona, the Royals get the job done. So, you know, I made the bold prediction three years ago, and then the Royals finally deliver on that prediction a couple of years later. Um, and it's really interesting. I think at the end of the day, look, the Mets had a lot of momentum on their side. I thought that they, I really did believe I had a good, strong feeling that they might win this one. But at the end of the day, you watched the first two games of the series, and it was evidently clear. The Royals were just the much better baseball team. I mean, the Mets, I thought they would steal a game he, here. And maybe last night, you know, if it's not for the bullpen, this series is a little bit closer. But again, you just saw it. At the end of the day, this Royals team was just much, much better. The Mets shift to an offseason full of questions. Daniel Murphy, you really don't have a strong feeling he's going to be back. Cespedes, again, at the same time, he's going to command and ask for quite a significant amount of money. It'd be hard to see him coming back as well. Um, so the Mets go to an offseason filled with promise, with so much young talent, and then at the same time with some question marks with Cespedes, with Murphy. Don't really see either of them coming back. But again, I want to go back to the Royals and the Mets because both of these teams headline what I think is the biggest thing that gets teams in the World Series. It's the youth movement. It's the influx of young talent. That is how you get to where the Royals were. I mean, for a long time growing up, the Royals were a stinker. They took, they were a bad team for a long time. You used to always circle your calendar when the Yankees would play them because, again, you weren't expecting much of a fight. But again, what happens is the influx of young talent, committing resources to the farm system, developing young talent. It's what got the Royals to two World Series in a row, and they're able to win one of them. The Mets, it's the same story. The Mets get to the World Series. They had the down period. It was the influx of young talent, building, putting resources into their farm system, getting those young, talented pieces that they have now. I mean, you look at all the uh, the array of arms that they have, the guys like that they have, Harvey, Cindergaard. I, I mean, it's just they have su- DeGrom. I mean, they have such an influx of of young talent that's come up through their farm system. Building, putting putting resources into those things are what wins. Look at the Cubs. Look at the Astros. All the teams that have been down and are now up and in the playoffs are there for a reason. It's because they looked at what they had to do to get better, and that is starting from the ground bottom and working your way up. It's building young talent in the farm system, and that's how you get to this point. Look how dramatic a leak of a leap the Cubs finally made this season. All the young talent that they had, putting Joe Matt in there, that is what finally got them to the next level. The Mets, it's the same story. All the young talent finally paying off, developing those pieces. The Royals, finally, it paid off for them. You look at the St. Louis Cardinals, and they're really kind of the ultimate golden rule for it in baseball. You just look at how they're able to just plug in guys just like without hesitation from their farm system and make an immediate impact. They ship off a guy like Alan Craig to the Red Sox in a trade like it's nothing, and 
they don't skip a beat, and he's not the same player. It's part of the system, but at the same time, some people just know what it takes and have the resources, the people in place to bring about this extremely talented young players. And it's the same thing with the Yankees. The Yankees, for a while, they were not going in the right direction. They recommitted the resources to the farm systems. They reinvested, making that better. And I think you see right now with the Yankees that the young talent is starting to make a little bit of a comeback. And that's what the what the formula is in baseball now, folks. I mean, again, this postseason was as good an example of it as anything. Look at the Cubs. Look at the Astros. Look at the Royals. Look at the Mets. All of these teams are here and made it here for a reason. It's because they and all of them had been down for a significant amount of time. But what they did is they commit the resources. They build what they had to do in the farm system. It all starts there. I think right now we're seeing experiencing a youth movement in Major League Baseball. The Chris Bryants, the Bryce Harpers, the Mike Trouts. Those are the players who are the face of the game today. Those are the players who are commanding the attention in the game today. And there's a reason for it. Those are the kind of players that baseball needs. We're not. We're seeing more and more now, I, I think, that the big-time places of the Cabreras and the Pujoses are just not those guys anymore. It is now a youth movement in baseball. It's about starting a fresh page, building collective, talented rosters of young players. It all starts in the farm systems. And it's what it's what we're seeing. It's what we've seen. And I think this could kind of, I mean, we've been so used to kind of seeing the trade off between the Cardinals and then the Giants. But you could really see this Royals World Series kind of being a launching point and a kind of maybe a new page in the World Series books because I think this postseason was different from what we've seen the last couple. It's the influx of young talent, the stress of the farm system finally paying off because, again, you look at what the Astros did. The Astros were a, her horror story just a couple seasons ago. The Royals, it took them a while. The Mets, it took them a while. So many of these teams, and then the Cubs, obviously. But you look at where they are now and where they were before that. It all starts with that influx of the young talent, doing things like that. They recommitted the resources that it took. And you look at what the Yankees are doing now. They kind of got the picture. It's what the smart people, there's a lot of smart people in baseball. They know what you have to do to turn that fresh page. You look at what the Royals finally did. It paid off. But the prediction was made a couple seasons ago on during freshman year, and it finally paid off senior year. We'll be back for another segment. For now, though, signing off, Jersey Joe Arcino. We'll be back for the next segment. <laughs> 